Greetings Lucky Legends, welcome to the dojo. My name is Lucky, this is Lucky Lad TV. I'm your host of this video and it is time for Lucky Analytics team building, but it's also kind of competitive recipes. It depends on how you want to look at it, but regardless, I have discovered something awesome. And I'm gonna keep working on trying to find more examples of this, but lately I've really been in the mood of type synergy. And if you are familiar with that means, it essentially means that your the types of your Pokemon have perfect defensive balance with each other. And I'm speaking defensive synergy. I'm not talking about offensive synergy. I haven't gotten to that yet. I'll probably start doing some research on that after I finish what I am doing now. But in essentiality, it's finding a core of Pokemon that have perfect defensive type synergy. And as you know, I've done this in the past. For example, I did Empoleon and Gliscor, or Empoleon and Gligar. I can't exactly remember which one I chose. Which is a water steel Pokemon with a ground flying type Pokemon. But here's the thing. Those four types have perfect synergy no matter how you combine them. So let's say, well for example we have Skarmory and Gastrodon. Skarmory is of course a steel flying type, Gastrodon a water and ground type. Skarmory is only weak to fire and electric, which Gastrodon resists and is immune to respectively. And Gastron is only weak to grass. Granted, it is a double weakness. However, Skarmory double resists grass. It is a perfect type synergy. Those four types can be combined in any way you want to, and it will still hold true. Mantine and Steelix, that's another example. Pelipper and Excadrill, another example. Any combination you can think of with water, flying, ground, and steel will always produce a perfect type synergetic defensive core. And the good thing about it is that not all of those types. Flying isn't known for being a very great defensive type. However, steel, water, and to a lesser extent but still their ground are all known as being good defensive types, especially Steel. Steel is one of the, if not the best defensive type in the game. It has phenomenal defensive coverage, but I decided to go with Skarmory and Gastrodon for this team builder, and each time I'm going to be going over a new defensive core, because one of the things that I have noticed from playing things like Ranbats, which I play a lot of, what you may end up getting is, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to be, you know, the Let's Play. Right now it's Nihilumbra. Saturday and Sunday are the League Builders and Battles, respectively, and then Tuesday, Thursday are kind of wild card days. I definitely want Ranbats to be for one of those videos, because I love doing Ranbats. The other one will be up for grabs. It may be a team builder if I decide that I want to build a team, but it may not but that would be a nice kind of balance because that way half the Pokemon content would be league related, half of it would be not league related. But for this team, I went with Gastrodon and Skarmory. The reason I selected those two is because they both have reliable forms of recovery. Reliable being the key word. Wish, protect is just barely a reliable form of recovery simply because protect is there wish in and of itself is not a reliable form of recovery because the way I see it in order for recovery to be considered reliable means that you recover on the first turn and then you have the option to recover on the next turn as well which is why rest is not a reliable form of recovery because you do not get to choose your next two moves after you go for rest. And with Wish, 
the only way you can make wish reliable is if you use protect next which means you do not get to choose the next move you go for assuming you want it to be a reliable recovery option which as i said it is not now this team has perfect type synergy there are no like missing links if you look over everything here you will and you do all the calculations i use the team magma team builder you will find that the team has perfect type synergy and the good thing about this team is that our defensive core with detroit our skarmory and cucumberella our gastron have not only perfect type synergy but they also both have reliable forms of recovery so now that we have gotten that incredibly long intro out of the way i'm gonna go into actually building the team picking all the moves and all that sort of stuff because right now i just have the mons themselves i don't have anything else but we're gonna change that first and foremost i want reliable recovery on my wall core these two pokemon and while i do love specially defensive skarmory i do it doesn't fit the build of this team because without Skarmory, we could make Arcanine a physical wall. However, it would mess with the type synergy of this wall core here, which is why I am going to be making Skarmory physically defensive. Of course, you want to balance your stats so that you come in on Stealth Rocks that one extra time. And like I said, Physically defensive Skarmory is all I really want here, and I'm going to give it leftovers. There's no other item I need for it. Stealth Rocks. Stealth Skarmory has pretty bad four slot syndrome. Because the issue that Skarmory suffers from is that it only has four move slots. But there are so many good moves that I would like to have on it. I would like it to have some sort of phasing move so that we can deal with you know setup sweepers or something like that because with sturdy that really helps with setup sweepers because we are guaranteed to live anyone hit then you have things like hazards do you want stealth rocks or spikes on this team i want stealth rocks i have two pokemon capable of learning stealth rocks i have detroit and of course i have luna then of course you want your attacking move in this case i want iron head I'm not worried about Brave Bird. I don't feel the need for that flying coverage. I just want Iron Head. Something that'll knock out Mega Diancie. Because that, this is probably going to be the only sort of steel coverage we have on this team. But it's just that. It's coverage. Now, as for the other two moves, we have a hazard option. We have a phasing option. We have good options. In this case, I'm going, since we are fully physically defensive. I'm going to go with Stealth Rock and Whirlwind. The reason being is that since we're not really a mixed wall, we're completely physically defensive, we will be switching out on pretty much any strong special attacker into our Gastronaut here. However, when people see a physically defensive Skarmory, it can be viewed as setup fodder, which is why I'm going to be running Whirlwind. Now, as for Cucumberella, our Gastronon, again, Leftovers is key here. Storm Drain, of course, the ability. I want Scald. It's too good. I want Clear Smog. The reason being, I want the option to phase out, or not, rather not phase out, but to get rid of other potential setup sweepers. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want Magic Guard Clefable. I don't want to run unaware because I don't want my Clefable being worn down. And you'll understand why I feel that way when I get to its moveset. Now I also want ground type coverage. I'm going to be going with Earth Power because we have three specially offensive moves. I don't want to run two special, one physical. It would just be extra crap that we don't need. But we will be running a fully specially defensive Gastrodon with that. Just like that, that's all we need from Gastrodon. It's just, it's what we need. Now, the third part of this core, granted this is a two-part wall core, the third part is actually Clefable. Clefable, adding a fairy type to the water, flying, ground, steel core 
does not have any negative effects. None. It does not create any unchecked types from a defensive standpoint. Everything is still covered. So the third piece of the puzzle, so to speak, is actually our Clefable, which is why I'm going to move it up to the front. And I'm going to give my Clefable leftovers as well. Now there are a lot of options for Clefable. A lot. There's of course the Calm Mindset. I know I want this thing to have Moonblast. I like the idea of having you know, a strong fairy type attack on the team. I also really like the idea of Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is disgusting. It is. It is phenomenal in terms of damage and things like that. I also want Clefable to have recovery. However, I also want it to have Calm Mind because I am going to be running a physically defensive Clefable. And with Clefable, since it has Magic Guard, you don't have to worry about its HP stat because it doesn't take damage from Stealth Rocks. The four points I'm going to put into speed, it really doesn't make a difference, but I want this thing to have Calm Mind, and I need one more move. Now there are a lot of options that I can go with here. I can go with Fire Blast. It does have great coverage when you run Fire Blast, however, it has the one problem which is it gets walled by Heatran which is good and bad. It's good because that's the only Pokemon that can really wall it. The bad part is that you're walled by Heatran, but since we have Cucumberella on our team, I'm not very much worried about getting walled by Heatran, so I am going to give this thing Fire Blast. It's very standard. However, one of the things that you will notice is that we have no Cleric on the team as of yet, with the exception of Izanami with Healing Wish. The reason I have Healing Wish on the team is because the rest of the Pokemon here are not going to have Cleric type moves. Everything, the rest of this team is offensive, including Latias. Latias is going to be offensive, however, I wanted the access to Healing Wish rather than Memento, otherwise I would be running Latios. So I have Healing Wish. I would like to have Defog on something on the team. However, in order for this team to quote unquote work, Latia, Latias actually needs to have a Life Orb. It needs to be able to hit hard and dish out some damage. So I'm going to give it Draco Meteor, I'm going to give it Psy Shock. Very standard offensive coverage. Where is Psy Shock? There you are. And then, of course, its last move, I would like it to have Defog. It makes a great Defog. However, we are, we're kind of, you know, have everything that we need already. We have... Skarmory's kind of set. We, there's nothing else that I really want to put on Skarmory. So, unfortunately, Izanami will, of course, have the Defog... But that makes me rethink, well, then, if that's the case, should it have the Life Orb? Which is a good question. If it has the Life Orb, that means it will get worn down relatively quickly. I do want this thing to have, you know, pretty standard, uh, a very standard EV spread. Just like that. But with this... The Life Orb seems somewhat unnecessary. However, I do still want this thing to hit hard, so the Life Orb is important. Obviously, something like a uh, Dragon Fang or Twisted Spoon would also work. However, I want the unilateral damage output. I just want this thing to be able to dish out a lot of damage. Granted, I do need to test this team before anything is considered, you know, final. However, I like the way that it looks so far, and I will adjust things accordingly if I need to. Next up is Arcanine. Now, Arcanine, I have a, I don't really have a plan for Arcanine. I know I wanted to have Will-O-Wisp to deal with physical attacking threats. One of the other things you will notice about our team is that in terms of actual offense, 
we don't really have anything that is an offensive physical attacker. However, we will have Mega Low Pony. Izanami has a pretty decent physical offense. So I definitely want Arcanine to be physical, because then we will have a good physical special split across the team. However, I also wanted to have Intimidate because I don't want to be dealing with physical attackers that can just come in and deal out a lot of damage. So now comes the rest of the set. You have a lot of options with Arcanine. It has a great coverage. One of the things that I immediately know that I want to have is Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz is awesome. And the set that I'm actually very interested in running, I wish you got Extreme Speed, I mean Earthquake, but you don't. You don't even get Bulldoze, which sucks. Uh, oh, you do get Bulldoze, that's kind of cool. But I'm interested in running, well, first of all, you're going to be, you know, Physical Arcanine. You don't need any special attack. Just put that there. Willowist Flare Blitz. I'm interested in running Flame Charge with Flame Plate. Because that means the fire type damage is upped. And that way we can actually boost up our speed and deal a lot of damage. Potentially. However, that's just not what we need on the team. And we don't need fighting coverage because we will have a fighting type stab Pokemon. And we don't really need the fire type coverage, but it works really well. Fire fairy coverage is excellent. It's only, it doesn't really get walled by anything except for dual type Pokemon. However, back to Arcanine, we do of course have the Flare Blitz. I also want Wild Charge. Wild Charge is a great item, and I'm actually gonna give this thing leftovers to help with its longevity. Actually, Expert Belt would work too. I'm going to give it Expert Belt, and then I'm going to give it the Morning Sun. Because that way, we're set with recovery. We can deal out good damage with the Expert Belt, and then recover it back up with Morning Sun. As for King Cosma, our Low Pony. Again, standard set. Not really much... Not much ado about nothing here. But Fake Out, Ice Punch, High Jump Kick, and Return. Very, very standard set. That's all I really want. I want this thing to be a Revenge Killer or a Late Game Sweep or something along those lines. But that is going to be this team. I like the way that it looks. I do, of course, need to go test it. We have our Defensive Leftovers Core, Life Orb, Expert Belt, and then our Mega. I'm actually going to go test this team right now, but... There we go, perfect. I want to thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's very much greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about best luck out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.